Hi, I'm Amber from Amber's Craft Week blog and welcome back to the Hey Day Challenge where we go through various pages of the book Hey Day and do activities relating to them. Today we're going to be doing some spring cleaning. The book recommends going through your clothes, but I recently went through my clothes this past summer so I feel like my time would be better spent working on something else. So I'm going to work on organizing my dresser a little bit, my, which is where I keep my jewelry and some other stuff. So let's get to that. So here is my dresser in all its messiness. Uh, so this is actually a better state than it used to be and I did some cleaning over the summer so you'll see I have all my necklaces with clasps hanging up uh, from that hanger over there so those are more organized than they used to be. And I have my earrings in a little earring container. But the rest of the dresser is pretty much a mess, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this in a little better shape. Apparently there was an appetizer pick on my dresser. And some paint palettes, well, those that I use for paint palettes, so let's take these out of this room. This little pal does not belong in my dresser. I also have some new science-y jewelry that needs to go up into its places, so we'll start with the dangling necklaces. And so this little tower here is for necklaces that don't have a clasp so I can't hang them up from the hanger so I just put them in here but this is a complete wreck so I'm going to try and organize this a little bit. Now my hair accessories I currently have in my prop closet which is a closet where a little drawer where I have all my props. Uh, so these ones are going to go in there for now. Uh, I probably should find a better place eventually, but we don't have a lot of room, so these are just going to go in there. A little piece of the sewing machine. Random button. I am going to keep these two makeup brushes on my dresser, at least for now, because I use one or the other every day, sometimes both. So it's a handy place for them since I don't really have a vanity or anywhere to do my makeup. And then this little box here has my wedding band in it, so can't have that yet, but I'm just going to store it. Down here eventually they'll probably go set out on the top of my dresser like my engagement ring box uh, does, but for now it'll just live down here. This one I just keep out here as like an additional ring holder, so I have my little ring holder here for most of my rings. Um, and that's all full basically. I think there's one more spot at the top, so I have this special separate box for the engagement ring. Just a little box that came in. And this little pin I'm probably going to go put on my bag that I bring to school. So, a little octopus pin from the Repeal Hide Art Project. So there, now my dresser is mostly in order. Now there is one other thing uh, related to my dresser, kind of, that I want to take care of. So if you look down here real quick. You can see there's this bag I have hanging off the knob of my dresser and that bag is where I keep my stickers. So I teach one of the intro physics courses at UMaine and when my students do well I give them stickers on their papers. So I have a bag of stickers uh, and it just kind of hangs off my dresser. So we're going to see if we can find a better spot for these stickers. So that's our next task. To tackle the sticker issue I've decided I'm going to make a sticker album. To make this all you need is a binder and some of these clear cover sheets. You can get them from Staples or other office supply stores. And we're just going to go ahead and put the stickers into different uh, sheets according to categories. So first up I have these ones. They're both technically Valentine's ones but they're kind of going to go in my category of cute animal stickers. 
So we'll just put them right here because there's lots of cute animals in them. I have a fair number of pre-vet students and marine science students. So uh, the cute animals are kind of for those made. I mean, who doesn't like cute animals, but also because I have uh, a lot of pre-vet and marine science students, it makes sense to have some cute little animals. I also have some Halloween stickers. So I'll get all the Halloween ones into, and I have more Halloween stickers than this, so you'll be seeing more of those soon. But for now, we'll start with these ones. So when I'm looking for Halloween stickers, they'll be in there. And then, of course, we have to have some science pun stickers. I also have some weather pun stickers that will go in this. So there's this kind of a sciencey section. And so now I have an album for my stickers. So if I'm looking for a particular type of stickers, I could just kind of flip through. And uh, so, oh, there's the cute animal ones. But maybe I don't want cute animals. Maybe I want Halloween. Or maybe I don't want Halloween. Maybe I want Pokemon. So I can just kind of flip through and find whatever stickers I'm looking for. The yellow itself is going to need some stiffing up, but uh, this is the basic strategy. So if you have a bunch of stickers and you need some way to organize them, you can always make a little sticker album like this. Are you doing any spring cleaning yourself? If you are, let me know how it's going. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd love it if you give it a like. If you want to see more videos in the Heyday series, then you may want to subscribe. If you like crafts in general, you can check out my craft blog, amherstcraftweek.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day!